This is Demetrius. He fell in love with Jade, a furry. But Demetrius wasn't too fond on being with a furry. I know that the furry phantom is something new to him. It's kind of like looking at a dog. And we're judged online because we make adult content with fursuits. He's a dog He's attracted to animals. They use litter boxes, bark, eat out of a dog bowl. And since Jade introduced him to the fairy world, he has dealt with some consequences. Happy weekend, everyone. You're done with work or school for the week. You enter the weekend hoping for the best. You can't wait to go out at night with your friends and just relax, have a good time. It is the happy time of the week. And it brings me no other joy then ruining this weekend for you with this video. Now you see this guy over here, he's a type of guy who's down so bad. He's a type of guy who in his school quote, he types every hole is a goal. Because what bro does for a living is shakalaka boom boom his girlfriend while the girlfriend has a whole kink of being a doggy. And it will be my great pleasure today to sit with you and judge these two. Now, if you're uneducated about the LGBTQ barbecue world and, or the four world or the kinky world, I'm sure you've heard a couple of kinks in your lifetime. You probably know what golden shower is. You probably know how these people in Germany, they had like dog leashes and they were all walking them on the street. This is kind of like similar to that as well. Fur world is when you put on a whole ass costume and you act like a dog. And what is their explanation to this crazy behavior? They say that they feel safe being a dog. It is part of their personality. It is something that, for example, they had a hard day at work. They come back home. They put on a whole ass doggy suit. They put on the AC because, you know, they'll, you'll be spreading so much because the suit is actually fucking huge. And they bark at their partner and they like to use the litter box to take a poop. Now, for context, this guy wasn't actually into it at the beginning. But since he met his girlfriend, they were together. But then eventually she just came out of the closet and be like, yo, bro. I'm actually a dog. He was surprised at the beginning, but he knew he can never bag a girl like her again. So he just decided to just go with the whole thing and be like, you know what? It, it, it's fine, babe. I, I, I still love you. And since Jade introduced him to the fairy world, he has dealt with some consequences. Friends, I don't really have any left from them finding out. Today, they're breaking some news to his last friend. Furry is paying our bills because we're doing OnlyFans. Just like your friend the first time he got a real girlfriend, got lost in the sauce and just disappeared from the planet Earth. This is like a kind of like a similar situation, but not really a same style of situation. Now, for research purposes, I had to go to this girl, Jade Defer tiktok page she has eighty thousand followers i need to do a little bit of research about her and she's been posting a lot of teasers for her of and i gotta say i understand why he got lost in the sauce like especially leaving all his friends when his friends were like bro this what is this this is weird this isn't you you were normal last month when i was talking to you what happened to you and he was like, you know what? You, you guys don't understand me. I'm a different person now. He's not a different person. He is just lost in the sauce because she is, uh, and I very rarely use this word, yikes! Now, these two very normal couple met at a party. They were vibing each other, but, you know, she was not dressed as a fur yet. She was just being herself, just sitting on the couch. And they approached, they talked, they were talking for a week. Then they want, went on their first date. Then they decided to become girlfriend, boyfriend, and eventually move in together. When they moved in, they realized that rent is actually too expensive in the USA. So what was their solution? Start an OF and dress as first to shakalaka boom boom each other. This is our room, I call it the dungeon. It's where we film all of our adult content in here. It should be called the kennel. No. <laughs> and usually I let my subscribers pick what kind of content we do for the week. Now this is the part where I'm going to kink shame people. They said that they made $25,000 a month from just dressing up as dogs and chakalaka booing each other so keep in mind how many people are out there with this type of kink it is much worse than getting peed on if you think your fetishes were just weird and you were too shy and embarrassed to you know tell anyone about it you like to gaga on some dirty ass foot this guy over here likes to shakala boom boom dogs and these characters give me a different personality and it makes me put myself out there more i see myself as a extension when i have my fursuit on now, i have so many questions once you're in the middle of the action 
You, okay, like, do you take this off before giving him a gaga? And what what, what about the the hands that, uh, you, you know, like, what the fuck? How does it work? Is it only missionary and she just barks while you're doing it? I feel like that's how Speed has sex. I won't be surprised if Speed actually subscribes to their OF and just watch the whole thing while he's just beating his dragon and he's just barking at the screen. <laughs> I'm absolutely still attracted to Jay when she's in the fursuit, but I'm not attracted to the mask she's wearing. I'm attracted to the woman inside of the mask. Now, I know what you're thinking. No. 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 It is not worth it. Imagine, okay, once you're done with the shakalaka boom boom, then you're gonna realize what kind of a weird situation you got yourself into, okay? It's, it's always like that. Imagine dressing up to go to a mall, but she's like, Today, I feel like a doggy and just wears the whole fur and just goes outside. Is it worth it? Think of how your parents are going to look at you. No, no. Megatron, you see these two? He likes to, they like to do each other while wearing, bro, she's still sleeping. I just picked her up from the bed. They like to shake like a boom boom each other while wearing doggy costumes. So they bark at each other. That's exactly what I said. She said humans are cooked. This is another thing I want to point out. Sister, you like to be furry. Why is your cat furry? The irony is at least get a furry cat so you both will match. But I wonder the things this cat has seen. The trauma inside this cat. Judges our relationship. Look at yourself first. Because you see two people that are happy. People will react to me in a very negative way in public. When teenagers come up to me, they'll be barking at me from across the street or yelling something very negative across the street. But when you see like a little kid with their parents, usually the parents will smile at me and the kid will want a picture. So it can go either or sometimes. Because they don't fucking know that's your whole personality. They think you just put on a costume as part of your job and you're just like jumping up and down. And the kid is like, oh, the kid doesn't know what the hell is going on. I realized is that the people that are no longer in my life because of our life, I I don't want my life anyways. I want to save and invest and hopefully quit in 10, 20 years maybe. You know, I never know. I, I doubt it in 10, 20 years they're going to leave it because once you go furry, it's very hard to leave it. There, there's no going back. Now, if I was in his situation, if I was in my down phase like right now, personally, no. I mean, no. No, 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 because if you think about it afterwards, it's not really worth it to be fair. Even if I want to like initiate something with like a fairy, like someone as hot as her, you are never going to find out. You are never going to see me or capture me or I'm never going to sit in an interview and just openly share my relationship with this person. It is going to be, hey, shakalaka boom boom, peace, woof woof. There will be no F, there will be no evidence. None of that. It's just gonna do go do shak my shaka like a boom boom, just be done with it and just dip. That's like a one percent chance of happening with way. Just to be clear, I am not weak like this man to get lost in the sauce. Now, when it comes to their relationship, I mean they're making a good chunk of money and people are obviously going to hate on them. I'm like, I don't really care about the situation because Everyone on the internet just gets hate. You also got some hate from it, and that's probably the reason most of you quit social media. That's majority of people, when they post and they get hate, they just delete it. I have a lot of friends who did this as well. But they're doing their thing, like even for commentary channels like me. Even when I post something, there will be like, around 1% to 9, 10% of hate in each video I make. I don't know if you see the comments, but you just go with life. It just it doesn't matter. And they're making a good chunk of money, so they don't really care what people say. Yeah, it might hurt them every once in a while, but if they're making money, good for them. And let me know if you meet someone and it's someone as hot as her, but she has some like weird kinks, like dressing up as a dog, for example, will you get, lo get lost in the sauce? Be honest. I would know if you're lying or not. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'll catch you on the next one.